Hundreds of files are entering your network every day. How do you create an IPS signature based on CRC, Cyclic Redundancy Check? Coming up. Whenever you use a file-based signature that is based on cyclic redundancy check, your FortiGate actually uses a register with XOR mathematics to look at the file binary digits and produce a signature which includes its checksum and its file length. Now, CRC is usually used for error detection, but in our case, it is used as any other hash value to recognize specific files. All right, so let's log in and let's create our signature. To create our signature, we need to head over to our IPS signature. Now we can create new signature. Let's name it um, block CRC. And we always start our signature using the FS bid. Then we open our parenthesis. And then we use our keyword and our value. Now for we use double dash and the name of our signature. Fortinet will create from our signature an attack ID. Um, so let's name it block CRC. And let's continue. Our protocol is TCP. And our CRC32. Now we need to add up the CRC value and the file length. For that, I will use my terminal, my Mac terminal. So let's move over to my terminal. Let's uh, choose a file that we want to block. Let's assume that this file is to be blocked. So we start our command with CKSUM. All right, now let's add up the file itself, the file path. Now we have the file path, let's just enter and we get our checksum plus the file length. Let's just look at that a bit bigger. So we add up our checksum and now let's add up the file length. So that's it. That's actually the uh, signature to block a specific file that has a specific checksum value. The same way as our antivirus database looks for hash signatures of different files to look for viruses. Now once we uh, finish with the signature, we can always find it using our IPS signature in the custom IPS signature. So you have your database of pre-configured IPS signatures and you have your own custom IPS signature which you can add up to your policy.